Welcome to the Coast Guard Cutter Area Lane in Fort Smith, Virginia. I'm on board. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper procedures to tag out lockout in, in accordance with count out instruction and a TPP. All right, so today we're going to do some PMS on the controller for AUX1 and AUX2. First step, we got to go get permission from the EOW. MK1, EOW, correct? Yes. Can I have permission to go tag out the 02, tag 107, tag 1? It's the controller for the exhaust system down in AUX1 and AUX2? Yes. Step 2 is identifying what needs to be tagged out. Here's our controller here. So first off, we have to tag out the switch and then our breaker. Find your tag, read it off, write it down so you don't have to remember. One, tag 116, tag two. It's going to be breaker H. So step three, we're going to secure power to the piece of equipment following standard operating procedures. Your power controller. Wrote down our tag number so we know what breaker it is. Breaker H. Step four, we're gonna fill out our lockout tag out record sheet, locks one through twenty-three in accordance with the DTP instruction. Step five is filling out the appropriate blocks on our danger tag, or in this case, tags, after obtaining the authorizing officer's signature. Step six, we're going to install our lockout devices and install our tags. Nice and secure. Step seven, we gotta find someone to perform an independent check on all the tags we displaced. Hey, fire minis. I had you go check these tags, make sure they're secure. And this is the right breaker and it's secured like he wrote. Step eight, we're gonna be sure that a piece of equipment is incapable of being energized. Now that we've ensured the equipment is de-energized, it's time to perform our maintenance. In this video, you have properly 
learn to tag out and lock out equipment. For additional information, please see references.